Right, so here's how it goes. Every single morning I wake up at about 5.30 a.m. It gives me time to center myself so I can have a slow morning. I don't like to be rushed, so I give myself enough time just to take it nice and easy to stretch sometimes move around a little bit you know we're always stiff when we wake up and there's nothing better than that first stretch in the morning next thing I do and I'm meticulous about is making my bed as soon as I wake up I got into a habit of that as a kid and even now as an adult I always make my bed then I like to open up the curtains let some light in and then I start my oil diffuser now in the morning I like lemongrass because that wakes my body up it's nice it's centering I just love nice smells to be honest and then I brain dump. Now I started with the morning pages and all that is is just dumping every single thought you have in your mind out on a piece of paper, journaling somewhat, and then it is time for a shower. I shower every single morning and I bath every single evening. Well, I bath most evenings, but this is the morning. Then I have my skincare routine. I use my Estee Lauder facial cleansers. I am loving all Estee Lauder products at the moment. My makeup's Estee Lauder, everything. And then so, I wash my face with my creams and then I have a serum that I put on before my makeup because I'm big into serums at the moment. My skincare routine is very therapeutic for me. It's a way that I like to just decompress, zone out, and I feel so great after it. My skin is refreshed, I feel happy, go clappy. I don't know where that saying came from, I just like saying it. And then we're all about that SPF life as well. Like I am meticulous once again about having a sunscreen factor on my face because we all want to live that MILF life when we're older. When my cat lets me, I like to give him love. Most of the time he claws my face off, but today he was okay with it. I was like, huh. And again, even during quarantine, I like to have a quick makeup routine. It's not about doing anything elusive or anything lavish. It's just about feeling put together to get the rest of the day started. Because when I have my makeup done, when I have my clothes on, I just feel more productive. I'm in that work mode and I'm not in that hashtag slob life mode, which obviously we always sometimes need our makeup free days. But when I have a lot of work to do, I like to be as put together as I can. thing of course we've got to brush our teeth because no one wants to speak to morning breath jack so no one wants to speak to morning breath anyone but yeah so i think that's pretty self-explanatory she's brushing her teeth After my skincare is done, after my hair brushing is done, it is time to the most important meal of the day, and that is breakfast. So this morning I had oatmeal, I used whole milk in my oatmeal, chia seeds, and then I add in some honey and some peanut butter. Personally, I cannot start the day and I cannot focus unless I've had a decent sized breakfast or something that actually fills me up. Some people that intermittent fast, kudos, great on you my friends, that does not work for me. So anyway, I start my morning off with a breakfast. I've been alternating between oats and cereals at the moment or English muffins. Like don't get me started on my love for English muffins. But yeah, I get hangry, lethargic and mean if I don't eat. So that's why it's safe for everyone else if I just eat. And then afterwards, of course, I have my coffee because I cannot converse with people. Everyone knows, don't talk to Jax unless she's caffeinated. And yeah, so I would actually say probably caffeine in my body is the most important part of my day. I love it. And I'm crazy about my lattes. So I make my latte with my milk frother. Best investment you will ever make in your entire life is getting a milk frother. So I'm keeping the exact same routine before the quarantine, during the quarantine, because otherwise, you know what, you can get lazy, you can lag behind work, you can procrastinate. I think I've reorganized my closet literally 60,000 times. The trick to a really decent morning routine is actually having your goals and everything planned before that day actually begins. It makes you less reactive. I like to brain dump in the morning. It just means to get any 
thing that's rattling around in your head, oh, on the paper, all done, finished class, done, happy to be there, wham bam, thank you ma'am, still don't know where that saying came from. So I've got my to-do list here, and um, I've got all my emails, now I don't open my phone or answer any emails until I've done everything, until I've done my skincare, until I've had my breakfast, until I've just spent like some quiet time, you know, because we all need a bit of quiet time. And um, that's how I roll in the morning. So I've got a bit of work to do now and then just to stretch out, just to get outside because all the outdoor meetings have been canceled. So I'll go take the dogs for a bit of a walk. I'll play with them a little bit. Walk outside the house as you do now that they've shut down the beaches here because we're just trying to contain everything. Everyone's just trying to do their part to flatten the curve. It can give you a lot of anxiety in moments like this. Like you can just be, your mind can be racing. You know, we all do worst case scenarios. What if, what if, what if, what if? And the best way to combat that is just to have a slow, productive start to the morning so you're less reactive. I swear, after reading The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma, my life has changed. It changeth my life, and that's just, that's how we roll. So yeah, and it's really important if you are working from home, just shower, do your normal morning routine, put on decent clothes, because if you stay in your pajamas, you're gonna be living that hashtag slob life all day, which trust me, we all need a little bit of slob life, like slob life, try and say that five times quickly, slob life, slob life, slob life. We all need a little bit of slob life in our life, but right now I'm just enjoying sticking to my routine, and that way when everything does settle, all the dust has settled, then it's easy to get back into the swing of things. You don't feel like 60,000 miles behind. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more of this now, answer my emails, set up for the rest of the day. I do have a big shoot that I'm planning for for tomorrow. I've gotta to write all that out. I've got a couple of web meetings later on today, but that's that. And that is the morning routine so far. So I hope you guys did like it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I should add a really fun graphic when I do that. So I'm gonna finish off my emails and speak to you guys later.